I had a student recently ask a question from the Rajowski Calculus, section 1.7. Taking a look at uh, question 18 from the book, actually it's the last question from our web assign 1.7. Investigate the behavior of the function as x grows large by making a table of function values and plotting the graph. So here is our function and uh, we see it has tangent in it so we better make sure we're in radians because this is calculus and we're always in radians and calculus. All right, so let's open up our Inspire, and um, how about we'll do a new document? And that would be number one. And do I want to say what I was working on? No, thanks. All right, I'll make a graph, and uh, the the function was four times the quantity x times tangent. Now, if you don't do a time sign, then it looks like x tan. So do make sure we say times. Oh, that looks better. And uh, that would be tangent of, I like to use the control divided by to get a nice pretty looking fraction. One, and, and then I tabbed and press X. I'll go to over here to the end and raise the whole thing to the power of X squared. And let's see what that looks like. Well, there it is. Now, students can grab the, the white space and move it around to be able to explore what's going on. And typically, um, what they do to explore it uh, graphically is to trace. Menu, and there's number five is trace. And we're going to do a graph trace. So we're tracing along, do 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 do. Here we are to 1.8. It's down to 5.62. Now, remember where I mentioned about um, seeing the three decimal places? Well, there's a couple of ways we can do that, but one way I want to recommend right now is to press menu. Do you see down there at the bottom it says settings? So here's where we could check to make sure that our graph was in radians. Yes, it is. And right, right now I've got it at float 3. Um, perhaps float 4 for the graph would be better in this situation. Uh, fix 3 might be nice when you're getting ready for the AP exam. That way you always get three decimal places. So there's um, one recommendation. How about we'll change it to float 4. Okay. And I just pressed enter. Didn't have to arrow down or anything like that. So here I am. I'm still tracing along. And, and now I'm getting... Um, three decimal places isn't that nice and uh, so I've got 4.583 and I'm only out to around 50 uh, what if I just wanted to type in 100 100 enter aha I got 5.582 what if I type in 200 or, or, or 300 or 1000 yep looks like it's settling down to 5.582 alright the next thing it says is to look at a table of values that, that is very convenient to do with a control T. We'll make a table of values appear. If you want it to disappear, control T again, and it goes away. Control T, let's see, it starts out at around 4, and then uh, that's what it was if, if it was 0. Uh, that's what the student picked for. Um, but if we were continuing to see the end behavior, what does it seem to be approaching for large values? we got 5.582. Yep, that'll be the correct answer. So... Make sure you do your homework and great job.